friends and welcome back to our channel. So today I just wanted to sit down with you guys to go over Adam and I's treatment plan, our protocol for our IVF. We recently met with our um, nurse and she was able to give us our calendar, our protocol, the cost breakdown, everything. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna quickly go over our treatment plan as well as our protocol. So these are our cycle instructions that we received from our doctor. This includes a complete outline of our planned treatment for our IVF cycle. And I also have our calendar. So I created this calendar specifically for our IVF cycle. It includes um, all of the medication I need to take, our trigger dates, our schedule, our appointments. It includes everything for our entire IVF cycle. Um, and so our treatment plan. Um, so first off, we're gonna be on birth control, starting from cycle day two all the way up until it is time for us to go in for our monitoring appointment. So um, what, the mon what the birth control first off does is the birth control is gonna help keep our ovaries at baseline. With coronavirus and everything else that's going on, they do need to be able to manipulate when our actual retrieval will take place. Just because they're limiting the number of people who are going inside of the office um, and limiting the number of patients to reduce interactions. And so we do have to take birth control. Um, for quite a while it's about three weeks of birth control pills um, and then we go in for our suppression check and that determines whether or not our ovaries have been suppressed and if we're ready to begin our stem injections um, so a couple of days after we stop our birth control we then start our stem injections um, the medication that we're on for our stems is sorry, I have the calendar, so I'm looking down, is um, Gonal F and Minopure. And those medications were on for um, six days, in which we go in for another monitoring appointment for them to kind of check our ovaries and how our follow cards are developing. Now, after day six, continuing on, I will be taking Centrotide and having additional monitoring appointments. And then from there, it'll be determined when I will need to take my trigger shot. The trigger shot that I am prescribed is Lupron. Um, and so that trigger will take place once I am informed by my nurse that it is okay to do so. And then my actual um, retrieval will take place 36 hours after I trigger. So 36 hours later, I will go in for my retrieval. Um, now, before all of this, they kind of give us a list of kind of instructions or reminders to do before beginning um, your treatment. And so the first one is to take a prenatal vitamin. The prenatal vitamin that I am going to be taking is total prenatal. Um, they recommend having a prenatal vitamin with about eight to a thousand milligrams of folic acid. And so this one only has 600. And so I also purchased the pink stork um, liquid drops, which are again, one droplet is 600 milligrams. So I'll be taking the two of these together. Also, you should avoid um, all ib ibuprofen medication because it does affect the lining of your uterus. And so that's something that they also remind me of um, in all ways to avoid. And then the last thing they say is that you make sure that you order your medication in a timely manner so that it is here. Um, in my next video, I'll actually ordering my medication with you all so you can kind of see that process of hearing the breakdown of the different costs for all the medicine, um, as well as kind of sharing with you um, my tips and tricks for ordering your fertility medication because you want to take the time in order to find a pharmacy that is going to work best for you. And so I'm going to share all those tips and tricks with you guys in my next video. So starting IVF treatment in the middle of a pandemic definitely 
isn't easy. Like there is a lot of things that Adam and I can't do because of the way that our treatment protocol or because of the way the world is right now that we're just not going to be able to do. Um, one, we don't get to actually go in and have injection training. So typically with IVF, you would meet with your nurse and um, she would kind of walk you through how to do all the stem injections. She teach you how to like pinch your fat, how to get the needles in, how to mix the different medications. And so because of social distancing, we can't go in and meet with her. And so all of those things have to be done via Zoom, which is really unfortunate because I think that's the thing I'm most worried about. Like I'm not a chemist. I'm not about to fin I'm not, I don't feel comfortable turning my dining room into a lab and trying to mix these medications without actually knowing how to do it correctly. So that's something that's kind of scaring me and, and trying to figure out like, what if I mess it up? Like what, what if I like, mix the meds wrong or do something stupid like that and then like I don't know so that's kind of giving me some anxiety and thinking about like not being able to have those moments also meeting with my doctor like the only meetings I've been able to have with him have been via zoom and it's like you get like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and it's not very personable. And like, you don't have that drive into the office where you're really able to think of all the questions and things that you might want to ask. And so that's been really hard and not being able to like meet with him and see him. Um, prescriptions, getting prescriptions has been really hard. Adam and I are insured through Kaiser and our pharmacy, our Kaiser is actually closed um, and they're not accepting any walk-in patients and their pharmacy is closed. And so we have to drive about 30 minutes to the pharmacy just to get like our little meds, like our, um, birth control pills and like Adam's antibiotics that he has to take. And so that like, it's not, I don't know. It's just, it's different than what this experience would be if we were doing it, not during a pandemic, of course. But I mean, we're just trying to make the most of it. We spend most of the day in the house together, just hanging out. And that's been nice. And it's nice to know that like when it's time to actually do the retrieval, that Adam is going to be off work and he's going to be able to, you know, do that with me. But none of the monitor, none of the monitoring appointments Adam's allowed to go to. Not one. What they say is that like once you start your stem injections, like you're going to have monitoring appointments, ultrasounds, blood works every couple of days. And so I have to go to those by myself, which normally, I mean, for some couples, it might seem weird that my husband was going to go with me, but like Adam goes to all my doctor's appointments with me. Like that's a normal thing, especially with treatment, um, because there's not a lot that he can do, um, because all of the work is being done on me. And so it's just nice to be able to have him there. And so that's something that I'm gonna have to just accept and get used to. Mm, I really don't want to, but I mean, we'll figure it out. One thing I am gonna let Adam do just so he can be a, as much a part of this process as possible, even though I'm okay with doing the injections on myself because I've done them in the past on myself and it's literally, it, it doesn't bother me at all. I think that's something that I'm going to let him do. I think I'm going to let him do, um, my injections just so he can be as much a part of this process as me. Um, I'm scared as heck. <laughs> to let somebody else stick me with a needle who isn't the medical professional. But I think, you know, it's just, I have to trust him. He's just a mar as much a part of this as me. And so I'm willing to trust him with this part of it. Um, it just sucks again that he can't get the training to be able to do it correctly. But you know what? YOLO. YOLO. It's okay. We'll be fine. Um, everything is going to work out. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to work out. I just need to relax. And so I've been trying to find lots of things around the house to distract me and to occupy my time and to just keep my mind off of all of the things in this process that haven't gone the way that we expected them to go. Just being able to accept things I cannot change and keep a positive outlook. And we have actually been really, really positive about this entire experience. Like, 
we are super super excited to start stems and like i said i think on um in a couple days i'm going to order my medication um, there's a few more pharmacies that i want to call and a few more programs that i want to check out in terms of like medication discounts again i'll explain all of that in the upcoming video but in this one i just wanted to share with you kind of like our calendar and our protocol and um kind of how this is different from a typical ivf um cycle if we weren't in the middle of pandemic and the main one is just not being able to connect with your health healthcare professionals um not being able to go in and see them um oh one more i may not even have my doctor do my retrieval like that is crazy to me like that that's what i recently found out mm -hmm. yep my doctor may not even be doing this man who i've been meeting with who's already seen my hoo-ha and all my things and who already was hard enough to get comfortable with may not even be doing my retrieval a complete stranger may be doing my retrieval because they have reduced um doctor's hours which means that the doctors are now on a rotating schedule so depending on the day that i have to go in for my retrieval whatever doctor is working on that day is the doctor who will be doing my retrieval and so i have no way of knowing um like up front who that doctor is going to be they said i could find out maybe a couple of days before um once they know the day that my retrieval is going to take place but other than that like I don't know who this I don't know who this person gonna be and so that's I don't know how I feel about that I'm gonna have to pray about that one but overall I am super excited for this entire process to begin Adam and I cannot wait um and so yeah stay tuned for the next video where I do go over entire medication cost breakdown everything for you as well as give you a couple of tips and tricks on how to get your medication for the best price um hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like comment down below and i will see you in the next one thank you This pandemic changes everything, 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 everything.